So we're coming to the final game of the season where we are guaranteed to finish first or second and then it'll be the transfer window before we take on the Premier League. So let's dive into the game and this is how we are at the moment. We just need to get a point and we guarantee top spot. No matter if Brentford win, our goal difference should be much better because they have to win 6 Nil. So we do have Birmingham. That's who we're going to be playing up against. So uh, let's go into it. All of our trials were finished with our uh, youth intake. None of them were brilliant. Uh, we're going to just go and let the assistant go to that one. Let's dive into the game as soon as we can. I've come back far too early to do this. Um, we won't be playing the game. Obviously, we're just going to see if we win the league like normal. We're just going to let the assistant pick this one, I think. He just brings in Evans for Billiet. Greenwood up front still. Gomez, Lawrence, Rooney, Shinny, Huddleston, Lowe. Bogel Ruse. It's been a it's been a cracking team, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's that's how we want to go. The assistant can talk to him as well. So now let's play the game. Let's play the game. We'll play the game. Why not? We'll play the game. That's the point of coming back. Well done in training. Well done in training, Jaden. It's been very very nice. Yeah, up to the Premier League we go. It's going to be interesting to see where we need to invest. If we can get Greenwood back on loan, that would be brilliant. Angel Gomez as well would be really good on loan. If you think about how well they've played this year. I think a new central midfielder is an absolute key to get in. Um, potentially maybe full-backs as well, but every, everyone's played so well. A goalkeeper, if we can see who's available, if we can get someone on the cheap. But, uh, yeah, he's worked really hard. He should be. So, obviously, budget-wise, um, that's not where I wanted to go. Finance. £36 million, pounds, 821 grand. just to refresh your memories from last uh, the last episode. I know this is taking a little bit longer to get out. But yeah, it is going very, very well. Um, to refresh my memory, I need to make sure that we haven't pre-arranged anything. No, we haven't. So that's okay. We haven't got anything uh, arranged and anyone to come in. So it will be just a case of seeing what happens. So here we go then into the final game uh, of the season. We already know how we're lining up. That is the team. Let's see if Rooney can get a goal to end the season. It would be wonderful. Tom Huddleston's contract is expiring. I don't know whether to keep him because he's been brilliant. But uh, it will be... Well, we'll have to go and see. Let's go out there. Win the title for the supporters, even though we're away from home at a pretty close location rival, Birmingham. And I'm just going to tell them there's all got they've all got a little bit more to go. Uh, we'll end the team talk. Get into the tunnel. Send the assistant to that. Uh, and make sure we've got all of this. Uh, yeah, fastest, key. Yeah, that's it. So we're not too fussed about watching highlights this is how i've got get through these seasons so quickly in the back to prem save is that we set up a formation make sure it works and then we play the highlights on speedy speed like this so montero beats his man into the box ruse makes the save but uh, i'm really enjoying these back to prem saves again as i said it's been a little bit I had a little bit of a delay obviously living in singapore the coronavirus has taken hold so uh, priorities have been shifted elsewhere but uh we're still doing all right lawrence cuts it back and there's a goal and it's an og from jake clark Salter, and we are going up with 101 points as champions at the moment which is absolutely wonderful we'll give him some praise we've had three shots none on target and have a one nil lead so superb absolutely brilliant we'll have to see if we keep this formation as well um going up because this is quite an attacking formation it doesn't always get the best out of well, defensively, it might want or going against their bigger teams, but let's bring on uh, Lawrence. We'll do Lawrence for Lacardia. I'll actually put Lacardia up front and put Greenwood out there as the inverted winger because he can play out there as Montero causes a bit of trouble again and he shoots over the bar. Nothing to worry about, really. Uh, Gomez not doing brilliantly. Greenwood not doing the best. Could bring on Manquillo for Bogle on a yellow card. Yeah, let's go for that on a 6.7. And we'll leave. Um, do we do? Uh, let's bring on Calado, who we bought in on loan from La Liga, and make all of our substitutions. And we'll ask them to not calm down. I've pressed the wrong button. Bollocks. Oh well, Rain Rooney was calmed by the feedback. That's okay. I've never seen that work before. As a uh, low picks up Rooney. Lucardi is there. He gets another his twenty seventh goal of the season. We are definitely. Definitely going up to the Premier League as champions. 101 points. We have smashed this division. It's been ridiculously good. There's Collado as well. Tackled by Dean. And uh, Lacardia probably should have scored again. I do admit it's very hard to keep up with the highlights when they're going that quickly. But that's not what this save is about. This save is about 
plowing through the seasons and uh, seeing how well we can do in three seasons in a very short little space of time as Collado gets his first goal of the season on loan from Barcelona. 54 goal difference, 103 goals scored this season. It's been absolutely ridiculous. We go up as champions. Um, a thoroughly professional job. Really, really well done by the Derby County boys. And now... Uh, we will go through and we'll come back when the transfer window opens. That's what we'll be back for. We'll uh, send the assistant that. Wonder maker left foot. Delighted with the win. Medals are, are given out to everybody that played. Lovely, lovely stuff. And uh, it's been super. We've, it's been an amazing season. Absolutely amazing season. So, yeah, really good. 4 one 2, two one has worked. Obviously, with um, Middlesbrough, we employed a three-at-the-back wing-back formation. So, I think we'll have to go out. And see what we're doing. So I'm thinking potentially Ruse could be improved. He's not actually too bad, but I think he could be improved. Holding midfielder and central midfielders, I think, could improve. I don't think Shinny's going to be able to step up to the Premier League. He's a bit poor. Rooney can. He's just probably won't have the fitness um, to play Premier League week in, week out. Uh, Huddleston, yeah, again, his contract's expiring. He wants to be a re You're not going to be a regular starter. That's the problem. Squad player. You're going to need to take a wage cut, mate. That's the problem. We'll give you a one-year contract, and we'll give you 20 grand, and we'll get rid of all of this shit, because I don't want to give you that. You'll say you want more. 24. Uh, yeah, we can give you an extension after 15 games. No, we're going to give you 24. We're going to lock that in. Yeah, that's fine. Yearly wage rise, get rid of that. You're going to be stuck on 24 grand for another year. Okay, I'm happy to keep him around. He is a very good playmaker, so I think he'll still have his uses next year. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to be losing all these loanies. Hopefully, we'll keep Greenwood again. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out when we come back at the beginning of the transfer window. See you then. So, the transfer window is now officially open, and we have been linked with Tom Cleverly of Watford. And if we end up with him signed in this window, I'll be thoroughly disappointed. Um... I honestly think the options we have in our squad are already better than Tom Cleverly. So, probably not. Uh, Gonzalo Malero, we'll give him a scout. Never heard of him before. Doesn't look brilliant. And uh, Manu Garcia, who is an, a name I recognise. Yeah, Man City. Uh, okay, we'll give him a scout. Again, not someone that was on my radar. But, uh, well, we'll be back if there's any news now the transfer window is open. But, of course... There is some news, because you can see it there on the screen. We have two signings in and one signing out about to be confirmed. And here we go, as two signings finalised. Jack Butland, I said I was after a new goalkeeper, and he joins us for uh, £15.5 million is what we brought him in for. Uh, Stoke didn't do very well last year. It wasn't really his fault. He had a pretty decent season. I think stepping up with us back to the Premier League, I think he'll do a good job. Happy to have Jack Butland in and Matt Miazga for, well, 4.3 million in total, 1.8 million this year. Uh, he's reasonably tall, six foot three, good heading, good marking, good tackling, good positioning, good jump and reach, good balance, uh, all around pretty good. Lacks a little bit of aggression, but I think coming from Chelsea, um, he had a good loan spell at Re uh, Reading last year in the Championship. I think he will do put us in. Good stead at centre-back. And the out is Jack Marriott. He was on loan um, at Brentford anyway. And he didn't really play for them. But they've decided to make the move permanent for £2.8 million. I don't know why the fans really dislike that. He, I don't I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. But the £15.5 million for Jack Butland is more than we paid for Mata Vidra when he moved for £8 million. How did they make a profit on it? I suppose in the Championship he scored goals for fun, didn't he? So, um... But yeah, we've got uh, two new signings in. We'll be back if there's any more news to discuss. So our first bit of transfer news, uh, after obviously the two signings, is another out. Max Lowe, uh, very good left back, leaves us, joins Burnley for £23.5 million, full on cash. Um, I, he's very, very good, but I think £23.5 million is... I just couldn't refuse it. So we have 23.5 million. I think about 18 million of it has gone into the coffers to reinvest. We will see what happens. As a new Premier League season draws close, us, Brentford and Leeds ended up coming up. Man City won it with Everton finished second after their really good start to the season. And uh, yeah, you can see there a record transfer fee overtaking Jeff Hendrick to Burnley. So Burnley 
Derby County to Burnley is obviously quite a well-trodden path. We have lots of players that we are finished scouting and everything like that. So, uh, Malero is a 70. Manu Garcia is an 86. A superb signing he would be in central midfield. Now, is that more of a potential superb signing? He would be three-star. He would come in as our best, arguably best central midfielder as well. Uh, playing in the advanced playmaker role. So, would look to really be taking on that role from Rooney. Um, yeah, not sure. Not sure. We'll have to see about that. Uh, we've been scouting lots of people. Look, Eric Glamella got rated as a 58, which is why I'm not buying him, and he's moved to Leeds United. Um, and Mark Noble, Tim Closer, uh, Marco Marin, uh, Sophisley Unlove, lots of people we've been scouting. The only other thing I can report that is good news is uh, Mason Greenman and Angel Gomez have renewed their loans, so they'll be here for one more season. A confirmed signing for you all. Um, we've basically done a left-back swap with Burnley. We've sold them our really good left-back and bought in a slightly worse left-back for slightly less money. Um, we bring in for two, 10.75 million pounds from Burnley. We bring in Charlie Taylor, an attacking left fullback, looking to uh, basically take off where Max Lowe left. I mean, it saves us money in wages, and in terms of what we've done, in terms of sold Max Lowe and brought him in, it's a profit of what 15 million pounds. So I, I'm happy with the deal. I'm very happy. I'm sure you guys won't be, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, other than that, no other news to talk of so far. We're sort of counting down the days until contracts run out, and we're going to see who's released on a free, but not too many people want to move to us, which is making this rather difficult. But we'll be back if there's any other news. So another signing through the door. Javier Hernandez joins from on a free from Real Madrid. Very happy with this, actually. An attacking left wing back. Um, I think he'll be a good little signing, a good backup. Uh, for Taylor, our new wing back, but I think he'll do pretty well. Other than that, it's still been pretty quiet, and we're not too far off the start of the season. In the 10th of July now, uh, again, lots of scouting going on, but not too many people that are either keen to move to us or would really want to move to us. That's the same thing. I don't know, I've just repeated myself. They're, yeah, it's very tough. It's very tough to bring people in, but we are creating a bit more of a squad that I think will be able to compete in the Premier League. So... It's all very good. Uh, Curtis Davis should be retiring in three days. I don't know why he's retiring on a weird day like that, but that's when he's retiring. So we may need another centre-back. Beliuk, Maziaga, Wisdom. George Evans is more of a holding field, but can play centre-back. Mm, yeah, maybe on a hunt for a centre-back. Hernandez can obviously play there as well, but tackling 10 isn't the best. Um, but yeah... It's getting there. It's getting there. Another signing joins uh, Seiko Fofana from AC Milan. Five million pounds. Very happy with it. Uh, bring a lot of experience. 25 years old. Ivorian international. Has played in Syria, albeit not very well. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed to have him along. He used to be at Man City. And I think he'll do very well. Plays in the central midfield or the holding midfield role. And he'll give us another option. I think. I think. We've potentially got a massive bargain here for £5 million, but Seco Fafana is in the van. Excellent stuff. And now we're cooking on gas. Another signing in the door. Centre-back Miha Blazic joins for a million pounds. Um, gives us another option at centre-back. I like the look of him. Um, six foot one. Good tackling, good marking, good heading. I think he'll fit in nicely. He's a bit of a squad player. He joins from Hungary and has only played in Slovenia before. So hopefully he can adapt to the Premier League. But I think for a million pounds, a bit of a bargain. And I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, we've still got more scouts out there trying to find people. But um, I think maybe one more signing and then it will be down to deadline day, I think. We'll have to wait and see. Every so often you have an opportunity to sign a player that you just can't turn down. So, bang! David Neres is in at Derby County. David Neres, the winger from Ajax, £20 million. There he is. In all of his glory, I'm very excited by this. Very excited. £20 million from Ajax. Really good performer, really good winger, Brazilian, he's going to bring flair, he's going to be our main man. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. He is in the van, and as I said, I think that might be it. I honestly think that might be all of our signings done. But what a way to end it. We've still got quite a lot of money. This is someone, this isn't to do with me, this is the youth head of youth development or whatever bringing someone in. But um, yeah, 57 million spent. 26.5 million received. It's very interesting. 
I'm very, I'm actually very happy with what we've done. To be honest, um, we still have thirty million pounds left and sixty grand left in the wage budget. So you never know; there might be one big signing. Um, if not, either way, we'll come back when deadline day finishes, and uh, all with all the news and stuff as well, and let you know. And with that, the transfer window slams shut. With no more business in, just one business out. We didn't really have to come back to go through it because it wasn't really that important. But in big news, Firmino joins from. Liverpool to Arsenal for 87 million, bit weird. Uh, Paul Pogba from Man United to PSG, 86 million. And Raheem Sterling, Man City to Barcelona, 72 million. Man United with the biggest spenders, 247 million pounds they spent, bringing in Allen, Carrillo, Berisha, Horta, Marino, Tielemans, and uh, Federico Chiesa as well. Uh, Marcus Rojo, the other out in there. Bruno Fernandes moving to Chelsea for 68 million is a bit of a weird one as well. Uh, the biggest, most active were, were Norwich with nine. The only one we had to talk about there as well was Jonathan Mitchell joined Tottenham, our backup backup goalkeeper uh, for 250k, joined Tottenham. He was on loan at Macclesfield last year, which is why you probably don't even know who he is if you're following this save. Now, we made a last minute bid for uh, Milik because he's at Liverpool and transfer listed, so I thought we'd give it a go, but I think that's going to get cancelled. He's not interested anyway. He's more interested to move to uh, West Ham. But there we go. That will end this episode, and we're going to be back for the start of Season 2 in Back to Prem, where we can see what we can do with Derby County in the Premier League, and I am very, very excited about it. So until that episode, I'm out. Cheers.